All right. Now, next up on Halo for an Hour is a pre-release alpha of Lumote. Um, as is perhaps expected of a pre-release alpha, it's not really... We, this is how it starts out, and... Uh, uh, my computer didn't like loading it. It really grinded when it was loading. It's probably just because this is an alpha. But here we are in Lumote. We are the blobby thing here. I, I don't know what we are, but we are that. We kind of look like a cat from the front. I guess we're kind of cat-like. Huh. Um, lots of effects. Yeah, it's, uh, it's up in here, I guess. Now, Lumote is a, from what I remember, a puzzle platformer of sorts. We can change our color. Uh, can we do a thing? I, I don't know. Can we, like, oh wait, hold on. What are these? I mean, I can do that. That's very... That's very good. I don't know what... Oh, wow. Okay, don't look down. I get it. Alright. Um, A. Well, I'm on the keyboard, but... Okay, let me get my controller. Maybe that will make more sense. A to jump. Yes, I can jump. Alright. Very good. Oh, I guess I have a double jump, so I guess... Okay, I understand how to do this. <laughs> Alright. I wonder if there's a... Uh... Oh, there are, there are actually uh, options. Oh, we can lower the settings and not kill our computer. Cool. Um, Would have liked to do that before the game started, but you know, whatever. That is a weird resolution. All right. Uh, is that 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 didn't actually no that didn't actually hold on. Okay. Well, we turned down the graphics option, but it didn't actually do anything. So maybe I have to like press A on them. No, they didn't do it either. Let me guess. I have to restart the whole game for it to actually register that. Is it better? It doesn't look any different, but okay. Oh wait, no, I, maybe I do have more frames. It's hard to tell. <laughs> well, whatever, we'll just run with it. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, it is running a little bit better. It doesn't really look that different though, but all right. I guess I should just be thankful that a pre-release alpha actually has options in the first place though. So, all right, fair enough. I'm guessing these flowers are probably checkpoints. So this actually, uh, this actually looks pretty nice, like visually. Like I like the effects. How do I? Ah, that's where I need to use the color change. All right, fair enough. Also, wow, this is this the entire level? Because this is actually fucking huge. That's probably actually, well, if you look down here, now we see why my computer had trouble. With this much stuff loaded, like, my god, that goes far down. Like, I can understand why my... Like, um, it's a pre-release... Being that this is a pre-release alpha, I'm assuming this is just, like, essentially a test map that we can enjoy and screw around on. I kinda wish it was broken up into the parts though. This is like a lot of fucking area for one <laughs> for one thing to be loaded. <laughs> Let's be honest here. This is really pretty though. I do like the look of it quite a bit. Quite a bit, in fact. Huh. What? Is this like a movable object or? Oh! Mind control! I 
You can't jump over it though. Alright. Hmm. Do I... Do I just want to leave it here? Or? Let's go up here. Oh, it reacts to me by putting, pushing itself away. Okay. I have this feeling, was that how I was supposed to solve this? I'm not really sure. Well, anyways. But yeah, this is a platformer puzzler. It does have an interesting go, it's kind of an interesting thing it does. Um, what does this accomplish for me? Not really much of anything. It's just the top up here. Oh, wait a minute. If I stand on these, and then I pick the other guy, stand them. Yeah, they go further. They go further. Okay. I understand. They're multi. They have multiple segments. Then. There's definitely a lot of personality in this. I just wish it ran a bit better. <laughs> oh well. For freely, at least though, you can do worse. trying to accomplish. Ah. Got it. I mean, I don't have it solved, but I got I got what I'm supposed to do. Like, when this thing walks off these, they'll go back. But I guess, yeah, it gives me enough time to... Alright. What's stopping me from just like going like well, I want to go down there and just top it down? I see. Figure as much. The game wanted to load everything, which is the problem I mentioned earlier. Yeah. Yeah, the frames is uh. I'm not gonna blame my again. This is one of those situations where I really can't blame my computer for this. Death is stopping me. Damn it, death. That always stops me in video games. Alright, what do we want to do here? Do we want to get one up there? The one thing that's kind of throwing me off is that our character is like a weird alien blob thing, but it sounds like a little kid. Which is kind of cute, but at the same time kind of off-putting. It's like kind of both. I assume I'm trying to bring them up here. Probably. Maybe I'm just supposed to actually wait a minute, I get it. Oh, uh, okay. Actually, no, I don't get it. How, what do I get? This is like a connection thing? How does this work? Oh, I see. It's a circuit. You gotta have both to... Okay, yeah, I get it. I assume that's all I have to do.
Oh, one moment, please. Thank you for waiting. Some of the food came that I've been waiting on. Um, I'll get it in a minute. But, let's see here. How are we supposed to get this guy? Anywhere. He's kind of trapped right now. Oh, wait, hold on. No. These are just permanently down now. I assume there's a way to get it back up. Ah, I just realized how this works. They work off of the amount of, like, it's it's not red and blue reacting differently. It's red is less power, blue is more power. I understand now. No, 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 I'm just going to do this. So let's reset. So if I wanted to get that over there, oh, yeah, okay. So I'm going to have to use this circuit first. I feel it's weird. We've been running a lot of circuit puzzle games lately, haven't we? Hi, Tubby. Hey, Tubby, I haven't seen the pizza yet. Yeah, it's on a timer, so I actually have some time to like. I like this alien world, though. Oh. I think I may have heard the pizza arrive. Maybe. If that's the case, I'll be stepping away again for a second. Ah, oh, there it is. One sec.
waiting, guys. I do apologize for the little delay. I don't like to do that during Howlers, but for a chill game like this, it doesn't feel like a big deal. What's up? Mm. Aw. <laughs> Boyfriend entered to give kiss. You wonder what that was about. <laughs> but well, uh, so Tubby, the pizza came. It looks delicious. It's piping hot. And thank you very much for that. Thank you for using the treat stream for the first time. That was very fun and it worked successfully. I gave I gave Aragon half the pizza. And I took the other half. But I've also got a burger and poutine here as well. So I have a lot of food actually all of a sudden. The burger was part of the original plan for tonight, so we both we we were gonna me and Erica were gonna do that anyway, so we just stuck to it. So now we have a whole bunch of food. This is not a bad thing. <laughs> oh my god, look at the size of this boy. Oh my god. Alright. Well, is... We have Behemoth. <laughs> Look at the sounds it's making. Oh wait, guys, what the hell is that? That looks ominous down there, that red core thing that's blinking. Not sure how I feel about it. Not sure how my computer feels about it either. <laughs> oh. What did we just accomplish? Oh, we lit a tower. It looks like there's a whole bunch of towers, like four or five. I'm guessing the objective of this alpha is to light all the towers then. Huh. No, the game's hardly over. There's quite a bit more to it, actually. Om nom nom. I am not actually eating yet, but I will eat here and there. As we as we continue. What's this? Laser. Doesn't seem to hurt me. Oh, it, it, this really is a circuit puzzle game, which is kind of interesting. I can't break the circuit, but these things can. Okay. Oh, so you can only bring him down. That's fine. Really do play a cute little kid cat slime thing. I, I, don't, I don't know what we are, but it's cute. Ah, okay. You know, these puzzles seem really complex, but they're pretty easy to understand. They're good puzzles in that sense. It's like I can actually logic out what I'm supposed to be doing. Pretty easily. It's kind of a linear progression. All right, so we have two circuits we need to complete. Will one of these complete? Yeah, one of these will complete this circuit, so I'll just place him here. And then we can move this guy over here. Stop pushing me. <laughs> and then we can go. I'm assuming this, is, this whole void area is just specifically for the alpha build. This is very intriguing. Aside from the fact that it's a bit intensive, it, it kind of earns the intensity. Like, some games are, are intensive and they look kind of basic, and I'm just like, why the heck is this running so poorly? This is a game where I can actually kind of understand it. I don't feel that all the lights and stuff are unnecessary. I feel that they are actually adding quite a bit to the experience. It looks very nice. And it, uh... I just... It also is part of the puzzle, too. The, the visual conveyance. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with this fact this doesn't run the best for me. <laughs> I'm okay with that. It's not, it's not really too big a deal. Hmm. Oh, I can block this one. Alright, what else we got? Oh, um, I bet if I platform really fast, I can do this. 
Yeah, there we go. All right. I almost feel like I could just jump around the flyer at this point. But let's drop down. All right. So what is what can we do here? We can turn this off. Well, actually, we can turn that to blue. If we turn that to blue. I think that works, actually. There we go. Got to the main platform. I don't know if that was the way I was supposed to do it, but it works, so... There we go. Yeah, I have to say... Most of the time when I have a game that doesn't run very well, and kind of, you know, is intensive and has trouble loading stuff, usually that's the hallmark of a bad game. Like kind of this, like the starting scenario. Like this is not going to be a good game if it starts off this way. But this game, no, this is actually really good. I do think that I would compliment this game. Can I, you think I can step on that? Oh, it's a uh, okay. Oh, if I stop, it turns around. Okay, so it's a platform I can choose where I want it to go. Nice. As long as it has a circuit, it just will keep going back and forth. Hmm. All right. I understand. All right, so what do we want to do? We probably want to cart both. Well, we want to cart one over there, I suppose. But we need to cart both of this direction first. So let me put him there. Get on this guy. Yeah, look this look this up on Steam remote. When is this supposed to release? Somebody look this up for me. Do my job for me, guys. Oh, it has to go the whole length of the circuit. Okay. Uh, well, in that case. You wanna get one here then? Not sure what I should do on the other side though. I guess I need to break the actually hold on. If I if I if I uh, put myself on the other one, what would happen? I'm just thinking. I'm just wondering. That so I need one over here, obviously, but how do I get one over here? That's what I'm trying to figure out. I feel as if I... I feel like this this guy should be able to move left and right, maybe? But I don't know how to control that. Is there a way I can control that? You turned the left and right direction off. Did I? Was it the uh, other switch, then? Alright, hold on. Ah, I see. In that case, turn that back on. I'm going to jump over here. What? Hmm. How do I convince it to... There we go. All right. Actually, wait. No, keep going. Well, I mean, I got to the switch, so I can... There we go. Uh, onward. Oh, I can control it manually now. Oh, because I'm, I'm the one manning it, so I can control it individually now. Interesting. Wait. Oh, it's already open. What am I worried about? For some reason, I thought I had to do something else with that. Never mind. Hmm. 
You made it four more complex than you had to. Sounds like a charm thing to do. Oops, I missed. Get his face plant on the wrong spot. Whoops. Whoops, no, I don't want you. No, don't, please don't activate that. I need you to sit. Actually, you know what? Where do I need to put that one? Okay, well, I can get that one across. Well, no, I can't. Not unless I hit that beam and do something to it. All right. All right. Um, sit tight for a second there, buddy. I'm gonna go over here. Right. Let's see. Hey there. Are you, are you trapped? You're not trapped. And you can break the beam for me. There we go. Thank you. I love all the little sound effects that these creatures make. They like seem to be an organic electronic mix of creatures, you know? That should work. Oh, careful. There we go. Right, so what do I need to do now? I guess I just need to get the other guy over back. Where he was, and I should be good. Let's do that. The journey matters more than destination. Let's make the journey interesting, even if it doesn't need to be. <laughs> that's that's a rule of thumb with me, yo. This is really cool, though. I kind of get a Subnautica vibe from this, and you know, is that weird? It feels Subnautica-ish to me. I feel like a lot of these creatures could totally be in Subnautica and they would totally work. Yeah. A lot of these creatures seem like sea creatures. Goodness me, look at that tower. Actually, don't look at that tower, it's hurting my computer. Um, alright. Looking down is kind of bad for my computer, but that's alright. Hmm. I can't play Subnautica, it doesn't run very well. <laughs> Good idea. Just can't really do that right now. Okay, I need to... Well, that activates that, so I'll use that to go over here. Actually, wait. Uh, oh, okay, I guess I... Ponderation. Oh, I think, I think I understand. I understand what this puzzle is. Hi there, Jordan. How you doing, dude? I need this guy to. I need this guy to just be auto playing the elevator for a bit. There we go. I'll activate that for it. Plop itself over there. Turn that off. And now. Let's see. Yeah, that should work. Just making sure I'm doing it right. Yeah, I missed it. That's okay. I'm glad you're doing well. Yeah, it's bottlenecking me a bit. It's cool, even if it's bottlenecking me a bit. Where am I going with this? Oh, technically I want to go back, huh? So I can get it back over here. I've actually got a pretty decent graphics card, but my GPU is the problem, yeah. Or wait, is that the same thing? I think that's a different thing. I believe so. Oh, actually, yeah, I'll just, I guess I'll just slap this guy back on here. Be on my way. See, I just need to snag it again, basically. When next given the chance. Which is now. Hopefully it figures this out. Yes, it did. Okay. Okay. 
And there we go. Graphics card. Yeah. You know. If you guys want me to get a new computer, I'm gonna need your help with that. That is a plan, obviously. But it's only a plan I can execute when I can execute it, so. I only can do what I can do. Dangerous jump! Alright. I do have plenty of cores, that's not my issue. I can say that much. Alright, so how am I going to... I guess I'll just change it when I want to. Fortunately, this is a puzzle game, so it's not the end of the world that there's a bad frame rate. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, this is a problem. If I wanted to... So, I need to... what do I need to do here? I need to break the connection, I guess. At the right moment, I guess. Like so, but differently. But it's gonna react... oh, 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 duh. Duh, 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 duh. I, I understand what I have to do. It's pretty simple. I just need to use my brain. No, no. <laughs> the other one took the place. Oh god. Don't do that. This is not too bad. I just need to put it right there. Now the question is, I gotta do a dangerous jump now. Yeah. Okay, we're good. Now, ooh. So, wait, if I break the connection... Hmm. I wonder. How am I gonna act? How am I gonna get that sucker over here? Oh, because I'm stupid. That's how I'm gonna do it. That's not really an answer, but it is a solution. Anyways, I'm dumb. Just gonna be sick. Solution, there we go. Done. Well, mostly done. Except for now I can't move it. Oh. Okay. It is a timing puzzle. There. Now we're good. Just like that. Right, I need to unblock the stream. <laughs> Let's do that too. It's a fun little puzzle game. We should ram better. I'd enjoy it more if it did, but that's okay. I don't really feel like, I mean, the whole problem here is just the amount of area loaded. If this was made, if this was segmented into smaller areas that made more sense to be segmented, I can guarantee you this would run fine for me. The sheer problem is just the size of the area. And I don't feel like, I feel like that is a, something they did not consider. Like, hmm, maybe we should break this up a bit. Oh wow, that's actually... It's very smart to break up things like this. Oh, I think we solved another, I think we did another tower puzzle. I do love the lighting effects. I do kind of understand why it's one big area, because it's a little more grandiose. When we ever, when, you know, activating all these towers near each other. Like this. Oh, thanks for playing the remote demo. Press pause to restart. 
Oh, well, okay. Was this the entire... Is this the entire world? I figured the demo was going to be all of this. Okay, wow, it really has trouble this pan out. That's right. Hmm. Okay, that makes me even more curious, because I figured the reason there's just this giant area of, like, floating platforms was this this, this, was the, this was just something they put together for the alpha, so it didn't have a lot of visual work put into it compared to some other, like, when they had planned for the original, like, the final release. But that's interesting. It just kind of ended after I did the second tower. So... The fact that the pan out makes the legs proves exactly what I said, by the way. But... This is interesting. I do kind of wonder how long this game is. I feel like we're looking at the entire game, kind of. It's kind of weird. If if this is a pre-alpha, pre-release alpha, and there's all that other territory down there, that looks like it has all its puzzles sorry set up from the looks of it. Hmm. I don't know. It's just kind of weird. Is that going to be the entire game? Is my question. I wonder. Regardless, that was Lamote the pre-release alpha. Very intriguing. I do wonder how long the actual game will be and if it will have any more to it besides, well, this giant map that we see. But I guess we'll find out later. It's pretty fun. I like the sound effects. I like the visuals. Too bad it didn't run great, but that's alright. 